part of liberation. Is being able to fully allow what you are feeling in this moment. Beyond emotion, beyond physical sensation. There's a subtle feeling that you feel in this moment. Can you fully allow this feeling? Can you surrender all resistance to it? Can you surrender all identification with it? Can you neither grab hold of it nor push it away? Can you be humbled by it? Surrender, ego. For the essence of this feeling, this liberated consciousness, this pure joy, pure peace, pure goodness, So not just in meditation, but during the day. And you notice there's a feeling there that you are resistant to. Can you allow that feeling? Can you be humbled by it? Situations happen. People say things or do things. That may cause a reaction of hurt within you. But if you hold on to blame that they did it, then you become their prisoner. You are bound by them. For they now have power over you. You need them to be a certain way so you don't feel what you're feeling. Can you surrender that? Can you let go of, they said this and it made me feel this way and it makes me feel this way now. Can you let go of that story? Not to deny it, but to let go of it, to let go of holding on to it. There's thoughts around it, the story around it. Can you surrender the story? Again, not to deny it, nor to grab hold of it. Now we're becoming more intimate closer with what you are actually feeling. Now can you allow that feeling? Can you let go of the emotions? Again, not to deny them, not to grab hold of them. To neither identify with what you are feeling. Say this feeling is me. This feeling is happening to me. Can you let go of that? And don't try and deny it again. Don't say this feeling is not me or I'm not feeling this. Just let go. Can you surrender all the ego around it? Now we are left with the feeling, the subtle feeling. 
and you fully allow this feeling. And you fully allow this feeling and you are conscious. And you are conscious and this feeling no longer has hold on you. And you are free from being scared of a feeling. And you are free from being scared of feeling a subtle sensation. And you're becoming free. And this is the path of meditation, of awareness. When you fully allow what is here, you are humbled. The ego is humbled. And you become free. We depend on the people around us to act a certain way. So we feel certain things, so we feel love, so we feel comfortable. But people are people. People react according to their own reactions, their own mental constructs. that really have nothing to do with you. And your object is to be free of this situation. To be free of the conditions you place on other people that define your happiness conditions that say you have to be this way this person has to be this way this situation has to be this way for me to feel comfortable but we're not here to be comfortable we're here to be conscious in comfort we can be unconscious And if we're always comfortable, we're asleep. Hmm? The more comfortable you are in this moment, you just close your eyes and fall asleep. But really, we keep our eyes open and we function in comfort. And our consciousness is asleep. So we have discomfort to wake us up. We have sensations, feelings, experiences that stir up the status quo, stir up what we are comfortable with. When you really allow what is here, without placing any stories on it, without getting egotistical about it, without asking, oh, what can I learn from this situation and all that. You let go of the thinking around it. And you let go of holding on to the stories around it, the meanings around it, and the identifications around it. You surrender ego. And there's part of the ego that says, this is who I am according to you. And this is who you are according to me. There's an identification. Can we let that go? Can we be free of these things?
This is how we become liberated. This is how we become pure in consciousness. All these different stories. It's the stories that really bind us. The meanings we give to things. And you are bound by being a person. And that person is created from a whole bunch of stories and knowledge and opinions and thoughts. And we abide in the thinking level because we don't want to feel what's underneath. So we let go of all the stories, all the thoughts, all the knowledge. We allow what is here. There's no problem. Because the essence of what is here, the essence of whatever you're feeling is divine consciousness, is liberated consciousness. is eternal peace and joy and goodness and love. Without cause, without reason, without importance. Someone rejects you, allow the rejection. No problem. Don't create the stories. Don't get involved with the stories. Be humble in what is here. And this is the way to freedom. And this is how you become free of yourself, free of this body, free of the physical, mental, emotional realm, free of separation, We're not pushing everything away to some cold consciousness. We're allowing everything without holding on to it. What may come and what may go, infinite consciousness remains. What you get or what you lose Infinite consciousness remains. Your true self is eternal, without suffering, without pain, always here. Eternal goodness. I hope you got something good out of this video. May it bring you some peace. If you feel something good, please feel free to comment. And may you be blessed in her infinite goodness. Much, much, much love to you. Much love.